the wallet. Uh, I... <laughs> it's not been a good night for me. I came in here with a wallet and a meatball sandwich. I have nothing right now. <laughs> Hey everybody, so I'm Rick. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here tonight, as always, and I don't mean to pander too much, I'm sure everyone will be doing this, but big round of applause for Keith and the Beatniks for eight years. I can be sure it's the longest running comedy night uh, in Rhode Island, and uh, it's great. It's always a pleasure to be a guest here, so I, I guess I'll talk about me a little bit. I, uh, <laughs> I'm a married guy. Um, I got married about a year ago, which was uh, was great. And I the, my favorite part of the wedding was I lost weight to get ready for it. I lost um, like 30 pounds or so, which was thank you. I wasn't dieting or anything, but I was probably just sick. But uh, whatever. Um, the photos look great. That's what's important. I've kept it off though, which has been important to me. And I think that's um, this is as good as I've looked as an adult. I think that's kind of depressing. Uh, <laughs> I feel like you're all looking at me right now like, yeah, he'll be right when he gets his shit together. Uh, no, shit's together. I am in prime condition right now. It's great A Rick. Uh, I have a lot of body image issues. Uh, yeah, let's talk about that now. Uh, I have a skin disease. Uh, it's called psoriasis. You guys all have it soon. Uh, it's, uh, <laughs> Okay, uh, I, uh, I've had it since I was a kid. I'm very comfortable with it now. It doesn't bother me. When I was a kid, I used to get picked on a lot because I looked different. And I remember my mother was afraid that I'd get depressed about it because the bully, she said to me, Rick, so you don't get upset, why don't you make a list of all the good things there are about having a skin disease? <laughs> I was like, I am done with this family. Uh, I, I thought about it, and this is what I came up with. Uh, if I'm ever in a plane crash or a disaster, and the survivors are forced to eat each other? No, I'm all right. Uh, I don't look delicious. That's uh, one. And, uh, it's a lot like uh, dry skin, which is just because I always carry around bottles of moisturizer with me, but it's reasonable. And in my car, in the cup holder, I have a bottle of lotion there at all times. In case you ever need to pick somebody up to give a ride somewhere, I'm afraid they're going to get in my car and see that and be like, uh, gross. Uh, have some self-control. You're gonna kill somebody out there. <laughs> Safety issue. I, uh, so I'm a husband now. I'm, I'm not very good at it. Um, I know all the basics, but like, I do this. I'm supposed to be a provider. Uh, tonight uh, is a windfall. <laughs> Normally comedians get paid in beer, which you cannot raise a family on. <laughs> Legally, you can <laughs> And when they asked me to do this, I was like, sweet, thick slice bologna this week. Uh, I mean, <laughs> living the good life. Um, <laughs> I have a day job. I actually am going there as soon as I'm done here. I work uh, third shift at an, an answering service, which a lot of people don't know what that is anymore. Uh, it's kind of an old time to go, like, what do you do? Have you ever called a doctor after the office closes? and you get somebody that can do absolutely nothing for you. <laughs> That's my career. Uh, I professionally can't tell people. I'm very good at People still don't totally grasp it though, and they're like, well, what do you do all night? Like, I don't know, I just sit at a desk and I answer phones, I, you know, take messages, and I don't know, have you seen Mad Men? It's just like Mad Men. I'm like one of the ladies from Mad Men. Um, <laughs> it is also, it's the best job I've ever had. I've had a spotty, work history. When I was 14, I had a paper route, and since then I've made a lot of lateral career decisions. <laughs> Before this, what I was doing, I was laid off. And the way that happened, if anybody can relate to this, have you ever like, been dating someone and you know you can do better, but you stick with it because it's easy? And then a couple of years goes by and it feels really safe and comfortable, and then all of a sudden they blindside you and break up with you, and you're like, what? Uh, that's what happened when I got laid off, because I got laid off from a Blockbuster video store. Uh, it's, uh, I was supposed to turn 19 and go, I'm better than this, and I instead turned 27, and they were like, you should get out of here. Uh, you are not good at this easy. I worked a lot of retail over the years um, for that. You can just get those jobs. Like if you, if you want a retail job, the normal reaction is like, thank you! Like, they're awful jobs. Um, I worked 
What I liked about retail is I like to talk to people. Like people would always come into my store to talk to me about movies. One guy would come in to see if we had the 80s comedy, The Gods Must Be Crazy. But he had a really thick Brazilian accent and I couldn't understand him. And I thought he asked for the movie, The Ghost Might Be Racist. <laughs> I was like, I'll look it up. That sounds awesome. <laughs> Jew. That ghost might be. Well, he's wearing a sheet, what we expect, really. Uh... <laughs> so I'll tell you guys a little bit about my wife. Um, her name's Jen, just in case anybody was going to be like, oh yeah, what's her name? Well, she's real. Uh, she, <laughs> she works at a, a different art gallery, you guys wouldn't know her. Um, she's. Uh... <laughs> She's, uh, she's great. She's, this is a, a, a real thing about us. We didn't sleep together until after we got engaged. We, uh, when we met, we knew that it was going to be like a serious thing, and we decided that we were going to wait and we were going to make it special. I'm sorry, I'm not saying this right. Uh, she decided that we were going to wait. I was used to people not wanting to have sex with me. That's fine. Uh, <laughs> uh, we waited, really, because she's an old-fashioned girl. Like, on our first date, uh, we got out to dinner, and after dinner, we got back to my place, and we were like, we were kissing, and I was trying to, uh, do more than kissing, and she was like, you know, it's a little soon for that. I wouldn't want you to think that I'm a floozy. <laughs> to which I was like, I would never think that you're a floozy, because uh, I'm not on shore leave in the 1930s. <laughs> I do just want to quickly apologize because I know that when I talk about sex, it kind of creeps people out because I look like this. Uh, I, <laughs> I've always tried to not write jokes that start like, oh, I was fucking this girl just to be like, no, you weren't. Uh, so. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Thank you guys so much.